What is going on everybody? Today we're going to be talking about the Nintendo Direct that is rumored to be happening sometime this week. So various sources are suggesting a new Nintendo Direct this week. We've got Insider Gaming showing us on Twitter that the Nintendo Direct is due to be released sometime in June, specifically this week, according to the Brazilian website Universal Nintendo. A content creator, Nate the Hate, who has accurately leaked news in the past, said Nintendo could have a new Direct later this week. Universal Nintendo says translated, According with information obtained by Universal Nintendo with trusted anonymous sources, the company should make a presentation with news with a Nintendo Direct next week until June 23rd. The format of the presentation, if it's mini or general, is still unknown, but we understand that due to having first-party titles within its announcement and updates, the company wouldn't use the Partner Showcase format as an option. Late last week, Nate the Hate also hinted that a new Direct could be happening between June 20th and 23rd. We can see that the Nintendo Direct could possibly be happening anywhere from June 20th to the 23rd, which means we could be getting a Nintendo Direct tomorrow. We could get one on Wednesday. We could get one even on Thursday. So just be prepared for that. Nintendo has yet to officially confirm a new Nintendo Direct, but if one is happening this week, we expect to hear it officially in a couple of days. So we can see that the Nintendo Direct is still, like, take it with a grain of salt. We may be getting it, we might not be getting it. But there's a really good chance we're going to be getting a Nintendo Direct soon because it's weird that we've gone so long uh, without having a Direct. And Nintendo has almost always had a Direct in the summertime to showcase their games for the second half of the year. So we are going to be getting one. If it's not this week, we're going to be getting one soon. If it's not in June, it will be in July. Uh, I doubt there's going to be a Direct in August, so... If we don't get one next week, we're probably going to get one the week after. But yeah, so we're going to be seeing some first party games coming on. I'm not sure what games are going to be. There was a 4chan leak. A leak, like, guys, it was it was literally a person who just made a 4chan post and just gave everybody what they wanted. They went on and they said, like, Super Mario Odyssey 2, which people know is coming. Um, but then... It was just feeding the audience. Like, the games were so off the wall that, like, Tears of the Kingdom DLC is going to be announced. There's going to be um, no Switch 2. There's gonna, they were just feeding the audience what they wanted to see. Um, the 4chan post, there's a really good chance, is fake. If it's not, like, then the dude that posted it, like, had to have had to have been in a dream state when he made this thing, guys. Like, there is no possible way that this dude actually saw this, actually leaked this information. Uh, he just made it up. Off the top of the dome, he just wrote it up onto the thing and it's just like, guys, this is a real source. Trust me, bro. But what we do know is that Fire Emblem, guys. There is a good chance we might be seeing a Fire Emblem title coming in this Nintendo Direct. So I was looking around online seeing, hey, are we going to be having a new Fire Emblem game announced this year or not? Because there is a good chance that we, we should be getting another one soon. Just with the way that Fire Emblem Engage was released with the DLC coming like not even a month after the game was released. Um, we got the entire wave, all with four waves of DLC very quick after the game was released. Like, they were probably working on a new game at the time. So, so I have a couple Reddit posts posted up just to share some of the information that I found. And um, although Engage was finished in early 2022, um, but because of confinement, it was postponed. Games usually take approximately two years to come out. Um, this was posted by a Reddit user, um, Godfingers, about two months ago. And people were saying... Um, they think it's going to be released this year or revealed this year, released next year in the first half of the year, which makes sense. Um, Engage was done for a while. Um, and it was an anniversary game as we can see by just the, um, nostalgic aspects of it. It's a good game. It 
it fits a Fire Emblem title, and it it's an anniversary game. They were working on it about the same time they started Three Houses, so they'd been sitting on it for a while, which makes sense with their release of the quick succession of all of the DLCs. Um, but according to uh, some rumors and leaks, a new Fire Emblem game, likely a remake. Guys, this might be the rumored Fire Emblem 4, Holy War, um, was meant to release between Three Houses and Engage. Um, data mines, we know that Three Houses and Engage's internal code names are Iron 17 and Iron 19, respectively. And within Engage's code, Iron 18 is referenced, but we don't know much beyond that. People are thinking that Iron 18 is Fire Emblem Three Hopes, the Warriors title. Um, but we don't really know too much. We don't think that that's the case just because Iron 17 and Iron 19 are mainstream Fire Emblem games. And Fire Emblem Three Hopes is not a mainstream game, mean or a mainline game, meaning that Iron 18 probably isn't that. And instead, it's a remake. And they've, there have been rumors and leaks of a Fire Emblem remake happening for a while now. They've been pointing that there's going to be a remake for Fire Emblem uh, 4 Holy Wars soon. And there have been leaks, rumors going on for a while now that make it very believable that we're going to be getting one very soon. And that could be the case that we are going to be getting a that we're going to be getting a remake for it sometime soon. And it's going to be announced sometime here in this June Direct. So in the comments and stuff, um, or at the end of this post even, in short, all this means that Iron 18 is most definitely a new Fire Emblem game and not a spin-off. And because of the 2020, 2021, just throwing everything up in the air, um, we're, they weren't able to release it. And the story and celebratory nature of Engage all points out that the entry would have most likely been a remake than an actual new story. So, it, we're looking at the comments and stuff. They There's a lot of people thinking that there's um, going to be a new Fire Emblem 4 genealogy game coming out. That game is going to be coming out as a remake on the Switch. And it's going to be announced within the coming days at the new Nintendo Direct. And... You know, I'm not arguing with that. I think that there actually is a very good, good chance that we are going to be seeing a new Fire Emblem game coming. Because um, I know it's very quick, rapid stuff, but with the way that they were, like, they don't normally release DLC that fast. They don't normally announce and release a game that quickly after they announced another Fire Emblem game. Like, they put out three, house, or three Hopes, and soon after that, Fire Emblem Engage was announced, and it was released. Now, then, they announced a DLC for it as well, and are just like, oh yeah, the DLC is going to be accessible right after this Direct. And not even a month and a half later, we had all four waves of the DLC. So, it's very strange with their release schedule, and it just makes it seem like we're probably going to be getting a new Fire Emblem title coming soon. And at least the announcement of it, which means we could probably be seeing a new Fire Emblem game coming in the next little bit. We might be seeing a new Fire Emblem Engage announcement at this coming Nintendo Direct in the next couple days. And another thing too that's pointing towards it is that the first, or, and another thing too for Fire Emblem fans is that the first Fire Emblem game released in the West is coming to Nintendo Switch Online next week. Um, just reading this post by uh, Video Games Chronicles, uh, the Game Boy Advance title, which was simply named Fire Emblem in the West because it was the first entry to launch outside of Japan, will be added to the Switch's GBA library, which is available to expansion pack subscribers. It's known in Japan as Fire Emblem The Blazing Blade, and the game is actually the seventh Fire Emblem in the series and the second on the Game Boy Advance, but the first to get an English language release. So this one is the game about Lynn, Ellie Wood, and Hector, and it's a solid game. Blazing Blade is a solid game. And it's gonna be the first one to arrive for the English Nintendo Switch Online, which is good, I like that. Um, it'll be a good game to play. It's nice that we're finally getting Fire Emblem games on the Game Boy Advance Virtual Console. 
So yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know about the direct that's happening soon in the coming days. Three days, we'll see if the leaks were right or not. Hopefully they were because I want to see what's coming for Nintendo Switch. Um, yeah, and I just wanted to let you guys know that there's a good chance Fire Emblem's coming to the Switch too. We're going to get an announcement for a new Fire Emblem game. Also, if you guys want to see my video about the top Nintendo Switch games for the Switch um, and upcoming releases for the Nintendo Switch like Pikmin 4 and are we going to be seeing Metroid Prime 4, um, go watch that video. I'll link it here. And if you guys want to see the top Nintendo Switch games so far on the Nintendo Switch, uh, I'll link that video in too. Thank you guys for watching.